All right. Welcome to the Max Happy Homestead. All right, so you see this structure. This, I had a delivery come in for our business on this big flat, and I've never seen it so well put together, to be honest with you. Most of the time, they're all falling to pieces, and, and they look terrible. So this is a complete structure. So ideas. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Either I'm going to make another um, poultry coop out of it for our turkeys or ducks, uh, or I'm thinking about making a playhouse for the girls, or making it some kind of pig shelter. So I'm not sure yet. It's it was free. Well, excuse me. <laughs> it was shipped, so therefore what I put on it was was not free, but this cool crate i'll be able to utilize some way so give me some ideas tell me what you think we're going to put it in our shed for right now because we just don't have time to to mess with it right now but i'm gonna keep it out of the weather uh some of the one or two of the boards are kind of loose but um it's just because it was shipping and, and we had to bring it home but we can easily get it back like it was and add a little bit more wood to straight uh strengthen it but just don't know what to do with it so give me your ideas and, and we'll kind of go from there on that if y'all remember, we had the second stanchion um, over there next to the shed where we keep our bee supply. Um, it's actually a barn back there for our cows. When it gets cold and windy and nasty, and also we were going to use it as a double dairy shed basically for our dairy cow. So, if you remember, we have not put gates on it. We built the little corral, but we have not put gates to block off, you know, the, two, the base of the two paddocks the, the run to the two paddocks so we're going to think about going ahead and doing that today finishing that section up we hadn't done that also we're going to put the silage tarp where the peas were as y'all know we lost the peas just because time of year i wish we could have i thought we were going to beat the the coolness this was last year we didn't actually have frost till like december late december but this year being that we had frost you know at the early part of the season it just didn't happen. We just we just lost them. So we next year we'll know to move it up maybe three or four weeks on our, our fall planning. That's one good thing about these vlogs and keeping a, basically a, a farm journal is we can keep up. So okay, this did not work this year. Let's try for next year. So we're gonna work on that too. We're also we're, I'm thinking about going to town and going ahead and getting some more um, uh, trays. We've got some microgreens that are just fun to grow for the kids, and also I enjoy growing them because you can grow them inside. So we probably are going to plant some of those. We have the seed. We just had never planted them because we've been busy. But now we're to a point where it's cold outside. It gives something for the kids to do. So we may even do a little of that today. So not a busy day, but we're going to bring you along for it. So we have to go to town right quick. We've got to pick up uh, two more heat lamps for our chicks. Uh, also, we got some lights just kind of out across our property. And so we just need to get some of that taken care of. So that's what we're going to do right quick. Get back and then we'll get started on our shores for today. And again, you saw the cool structure. Tell me what you think and what we should do with it. This task got done. We've got this in here just to utilize. I don't know what we're going to make out of it, like I said, but at least we'll keep it out of the weather and be able to kind of get it set up whenever we have time to worry with it. So, done. Now, more chores.
This is the area that uh, is corralled and we need the gates. There's one gate right there. Here's the other gate right here. So we, we've got to basically make this corral a hole. So we're gonna put a gate, um, no, not right here, I'm sorry. Right here where it is to the run, this is our run. And when we run them, if we're trying to load them up to a trailer, this is our little run that we run them. Uh, we don't use it much, but I need it locked off just to make sure that they can't just go out this way and get rid of this little piece of cattle panel. Also, the other one will go at our door right here. Now, I know you said, well, there's another entrance, the one you just showed us. This one here, which goes to the run to the other field where the dairy stanchion is and also the other two by the pond. And then we have the main gate, which is kind of like the little corral area. And, you know, you see where they're at now. This is just a secondary fence. Uh, it has a lot of shade. This is really, if we have a cow that's not doing well or a cow that seems like it needs something or we're trying to do, we're trying to look at it more, there's not a lot here. It's basically a little hay paddock or a feed lot that we could turn around and put them in and just kind of keep a close eye on them. So it's not a big, big feed area at all. Uh, it doesn't really grow grass because of all the trees, um, but it's a way that we can run them in here and then of course corral them if we need to. So. We've got to get gates here. We've had these gates, I think, for two or three months and I hadn't put them up. I always find some excuse not to put them up. I don't know why. But I'm going to go ahead and at least get them up. And then that way we don't have to worry about this task. It'll be done. So. getting it screwed in and now I have an audience they all come over here to see what's going on so I'm gonna get this hung and that way we can get these gates up all right so you see I got the bottom one on so that this I just put it on so I can mark the top so that way we can mark where this one goes it's gonna basically go there and then it's gonna turn back in and go in this hole here this is adjustable um, so that way it, you know that way we could be able to move it if we get off a little bit but our goal is to be right on also, most people would probably ask why we're not hanging this on the inside or one exact same size. And, uh, you know, if we hang it on the inside, then I have to worry about the screws popping out on the other side because this is just kind of a makeshift barn that we built, you know, just as an extra barn for the cows. If my cows were crazy, and I got a little head snatching right there from the old dairy, uh, doing dairy right here. Uh, if my cows got crazy, I'd probably put it on the inside where they couldn't basically bust it in. I'm also going to have a latch going all the way through from this way and it's going to chain inside the barn. So that way there's no way they can break it unless they break the whole door frame, which can happen, but I hope it doesn't happen. But uh, we're going to get this marked, that way we can tell exactly where it needs to go. And, uh, and like I said, get this one hung and then start on the other. Gate one, finish. Perfect, now I just need to, I'm gonna drill a hole through here, run the chain right there, and then we'll be finished with this one. On to the next.
all right so done i finished the second gate i'm gonna put the chain around it and this will at least allow you know no cows to go through the run and get out of our fence so so now as the sun is giving us terrible lighting we've got some christmas chores to do we're gonna actually go put up the rest of our stuff outside some wreaths we're gonna put a wreath on the barn because like i said i just like christmas so we're finished up with both gates as you see that one's hung over there this one is hung right here and uh we've got a mess we'll clean up the wood and do that over the next few days but Hey, I, I'm, I'm glad to get this done and the cluck wagon board. Both were two things I just kind of dreaded. I don't know why, but just, you know, there's things on the farm. You're just like, gosh, I got to do that. You know, this was one of those projects, not a hard project, but something that just needed to be done. So glad it's done. They look great. They're going to keep some cow in and or sheep. But at least it's done. I hope you're enjoying our content. Uh, we really strive to always in, uh, have something that's, you know, that teaches something, but more than that, just uh, something you can enjoy with your family. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, ring the bell if you haven't rang the bell. That way you know what's coming on the max because we always have something going on uh, here at the farm. So um, more than anything, God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.